Hey guys, I hope you guys can hear me. Um, let me pause it here. Hey folks, so welcome back to Learning Magnet. Um, today we will be talking about the Declaration of Independence. So yeah, I hope you guys are super excited. And without any further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so first, this is just a little bit of a background so you can get the idea. Um, so remember that American colonists, um, they understood precisely like what they didn't want when it came to like the amount of power the authority should have. So then like because due to their interactions with like King George the Third and the UK, it had kind of convinced them that they needed a government based on popular sovereignty and like a new constitution rather than a monarchy, which was a basic example that was commonly followed by governments back in the day and now um like i said this is just some brief background facts for you guys to know about the declaration of independence and the other one is that there was like this council and they basically like appointed thomas jefferson to compose the declaration of independence in the summer of 1776 and obviously with the help of our other founding fathers and such as like benjamin franklin and john adams and obviously that it remember that the declaration of independence it is a declaration of the fundamental ideas that americans hold dear in governance as well as a model for individuals around the globe seeking liberty for their own countries so basically this document um was written by um Thomas Jefferson, Benjamin Franklin, John Adams, and other, uh, and other founding fathers, and they basically um, constructed this document. And they're like, "Hey, that's it. We don't want to be part of the UK anymore. Um, we don't want to be part of Great Britain anymore because of the way you guys have treated us. We're done with all of this, and now we just want to form our own nation with the thirteen colonies that we have at, with us." And obviously, some of the parts in the later slides that we'll be talking about um, are, we'll basically be talking about like the different parts of the Declaration of Independence, which includes like the introduction, a statement of rights, a list of grievances, etc., etc. So yeah, let's go ahead and get started with those. Okay, first, the introduction. So it basically gives the reasons for writing. So like, why are they breaking away from the ruling country? And like how it requires like it kind of communicates those reasons for doing so like why are they exactly breaking away from great britain so and this also goes back to like this whole american history type of lesson and ideals and basically like how to um do it but in like the right sort of way so it again goes back to those ideals and um like why exactly did they break like what was their turning point now the statement of rights this section is these are basically like the views of the colonists on like the government and like how it should be described so like so this kind of like almost like an ideal type of government and it also includes like um famous enlightenment thinkers ideas such as like john locke's natural rights and the social contract idea now obviously remember that this is not the same as the constitution the constitution includes separation of power um and, unalienable rights whereas the declaration of independence it just is a st it has a statement of rights that hey you know this is something you're supposed to be giving us this is something that we deserve but you violated that and that's another reason for why we're breaking away which again ties back to the introduction now the list of grievances it basically contains like about 29 complaints made by the colonists towards King George III, and some of those include like taxation without representation, which is a very common and a important phrase, especially in American history, um, forcing colonists to um, house British soldiers in their homes, limiting their trade, and like closing down legislatures. That are, those are like some of the common complaints that they had and these are again like some of those famous complaints that they noted in that are noted in the declaration of independence and it basically also like talks about how the colonists had tried to kind of like seek remedy from the monarch for their difficulties so they try to work a cooperation but but according to them 
um, and according to history, King George III and the Parliament wasn't as cooperative, and they weren't as willing to meet the colonists' demands, so that left them with no choice but to just leave and kind of like ditch, in a way, um, ditch Great Britain. Now, reproach to British brethren. So this is basically, it kind of describes that the immigrants, they're like willing to break relations with other people in Britain and even those in the parliament if it's necessary for them to um, be treated the way they deserve to be treated. And basically, um, you know, kind of like how that in a way, um, those rights and stuff, like if I need to practice my right, like this is my natural right and if I need to practice it and but these people are, are limiting me then I'm not going to practice it around them I'm still just going to break their relations and I will practice it so it's kind of that kind of approach now there's also another section called resolution of independence and it basically declares that provinces are now like free and independent states because of the um, complaints and the unwillingness of the king and the parliament to resolve issues and basically like their um their uncooperation for that now the colonies they would be self-governing with like no alliance to the british or adherence to their legislation instead of enacting their own so this is kind of like that resolution of independence so this is like the phrase where they are like yes now we are free and independent states we don't want you we do not care if if um we do not care like you know we don't care that we will be breaking our relations with other people that are in britain because our rights were um violated and we cannot tolerate this anymore so now we're just going to be self-governing and we don't want to do anything with britain and it also kind of like declares that they will fight for the declaration of independence with like their lives their fortune like their wealth their health their dignity respect and that again goes on to like emphasize the point even more now a basic questions that you should be asking yourself at this point of the video is well what are some basic values that are expressed in the declaration of independence so one of the things is, that is uh, like we mentioned earlier was natural rights um so this phrase right here is obviously taken from the declaration of independence they all men are endowed with by their creator with certain unalienable rights keyword ding 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 that among these are life liberty and pursuit of happiness this statement is from the introduction section of the document it explicitly states the natural rights which includes the life liberty and pursuit of happiness and it also mentions how the government had violated these rights so this is like a very good um summarization so this is what something you should be able to do if you're currently studying um, American history or you want to learn a little bit more about it now social contracts social contracts another important one is that um, um, that to secure these rights governments are instituted among men that whenever any form of government becomes destructive of these ends it is the right of the people to alter or to abolish it and this is uh, taken from the statement of rights section so it kind of like talks about the administration that is specifically instituted to protect natural rights and it kind of talks that the government is the whole purpose of the government is to protect natural rights of the citizens and if the government fails to do that then the citizens do have the right to overthrow it okay so the next one the okay so another one a uh, big one is popular sovereignty which we talked about and here this is a quote that says deriving from their uh, deriving their just powers from the consent of the governed so this is taken also from like the statement of rights section and this kind of mentions um that the government is kind of implemented by the permission of the people and so ultimately the power resides in the hands of the citizens and this also kind of ties back in with our whole social contract idea here that if that the only reason government exists is because people have allowed certain loot um certain leaders to govern them otherwise without the people there would be no leaders and so there would be no um quote-unquote power
So this is, again, basically like a very general type of um, Declaration of Independence um, kind of like video. Obviously, in my next few videos, I will definitely be discussing more. So that way you guys kind of get more of the idea. Now, please make sure to subscribe and like the video because um, there goes so much effort in these videos and that all I really wish is that you guys would just like go down below and hit that subscribe button and just like like because that would really make my day so much. And, um, and a couple of other things to note is if you're taking an AP course, this is very important. If you're taking like an AP US government and politics course, this Declaration of Independence is very important to the fact that you need to know exactly what it is. You need to kind of memorize it because it's going to help you when you're doing when you're doing like those quantitative analysis and like all those FRQs and stuff and like comparing and contextualization and things like that so again this would be like a very important thing so make sure to like revisit this video throughout and throughout because consistency is the key so if you like watch this video several times this, this will kind of stick in your head and it'll kind of fit in about the Declaration of Independence so again just make sure that you know that document and yeah, so hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please again like and subscribe because it'll really, really make my day. And yeah, hope you guys have a great rest of your day or night or afternoon or evening. I'll see you guys in my next video. Also, please share this video with your friends and family and also tell them to like and subscribe because who doesn't love to like and subscribe i mean it's pretty much free and in the description box below um i'll also link my other videos so you guys can also go check out and like and subscribe and watch which will also be very helpful to you okay bye